What's going on everybody? So today's video is going to be pretty cool because I think I'm the first one to be able to do this and that is win a match at 200 hit points. Now how do you even get to 200 hit points? Well they have changed Abe's skill 2 to where now every time you deal 50 damage to the enemies and 50 damage in total it stacks every round you will get a shield of 20 hit points. So this is, I would definitely con definitely say this is now a meta commander, especially with the Ragnar nerf. Like Ragnar is just, is not worth it, I would say, to use anymore. Just because you have to get all the way down to 20 hit points to start, you know, as passive of healing. And it's just very, very risky now, especially with the meta shift. Uh, I'm not sure if I completely agree with the nerf on him, but it is what it is, and now we have a new revamped Abe. So before we get into the game, I would just want to say, like, this is mainly going to be me talking over, you know, just kind of talking you through this game, not as much as a, a guide. If you do want a full guide on this build, you can go check out my video, The Killer of Kings. And that's a full in-depth guide of this Summoner Celestial Claude build. It's just a super strong build. And this is, you know, definitely my highest da damage dealing game probably ever. Because the only way to get to 200 hit points is you're going to have to be dealing a substantial amount of damage every round. Because you have to get a shield five times over. Which is really kind of crazy, and I've uh, yeah tried this multiple times over the past few days, and really wasn't even close most of the time to to getting to to 200 hit points. So definitely going to be a cool game, guys. So we'll get into it. Here I started. Uh, I got the saber and the jawhead just for a cyborg bonus and a wrestler bonus wrestler bonus of three just right at the start to make sure i win these initial rounds you know just to have strong power and it, it works well so here i went for the popo and kapupa just because he is a a core hero that magic item was a good item but it's not going to be really used till i have a gato and that is late game, and I, I wanted to get a hero that is going to make me stronger now. And that is going to get me those four summoners as quick as possible. Because the main thing with this build, guys, is literally killing your opponents off before they have time to finish their builds. <laughs> so it's it's literally just destroying people is the whole the whole point of this build. So you can see now my shield is activated. So I have just now dealt 50 damage in total. And now I have a shield of 20. So I'm sitting at 120 hit points. Now it doesn't give you a little... doesn't tell you how much you're at over. So this is just keeping track. And obviously when the, when the shield is fully over your commander, you have 200 hit points. Now this is not an easy feat to accomplish and I'm sure once you give it a try a few times you'll see that getting to 200 is going to be very difficult. And we have the summoner, a full summoner build already, like you know the four summoners in before the first boss. So that is very early to have that going. Now we, we're going to throw the Claude in with the Diggy just to be getting that, that gold right at the start. Uh, we were able to get a Sicilian there, so I sold the Monkey because he is no longer needed. Since the Blood Synergy, you only need three Summoners. Also very important to be thinking about when doing this build is you're not only rushing the four Summoners, but you are rushing four Celestials. Which is really only three because you already have you, know, you already have a blood synergy in, so you only need three to complete it. But once you get the celestial bonus in, that is when you're going to be doing the damage. Like 
That is when you're really going to be hitting people. That is when, you know, the main summoner guy that's in the middle right now, you see how he procs and does his like little ultimate where he spins and does a huge amount of damage. And that, that is based off how many times he attacks. So as soon as you get the celestial bonus in, he is going to be doing so much more damage. It is crazy. Now we are almost at our second shield. So we have almost dealt 100 damage and it's going to be... I, I mean, this, this commander is pretty fun. Not only fun, but he is probably, you know, the new meta, the new Ragnar. Because you can do this either way. Like, even if you are losing, you can start winning and then get a shield also that way so and I'll, I'll do i'll do more videos on this guy for sure so now we are we have hit 140 hit points uh, yeah there's no like hit points bar that shows you but just by looking at it you can tell you know it's, it's not at the halfway mark so we're we're at we're at 140 our build is looking strong. We have a level two Popol and Kapupa or whatever. So that, that little beast that he summons out is going to be strong. And yeah, it's just we, we are looking obviously pretty good. We have an endless battle on Claude, which is definitely an item you want to get for him just to increase his attack speed endlessly. And also the main item is... Physical life steal and magic life steal is two items you guys want to be looking out for. Just just so I, so I make sure you know that. Now, what did we get here? I think we did end up getting this physical life steal, which is definitely a game changer for our build. Because we don't we're not going to have three fighters in, so we're not going to be healing at all. But now we can throw that on Claude. And he's going to be able to sustain himself and basically use his ultimate almost the whole time because he's going to be healing. So we throw the Mardis in. This gets us to two out of four Celestials. So we only need one more to really get the damage going. You can see here that we, I mean, we won, but we didn't not dealing as much damage as we're going to be doing with that being said we did deal a decent amount and we are almost at our third shield so the third time over once once we hit that we're going to be at 160 now we get a carry we're immediately going to switch her out for the martis we're still going to keep him because that's going to be he's going to give us our full celestial you know the when all when all heroes start doing 25% attack speed, so we're definitely going to keep him in until we get the gato. So there now we are at 160, and guys, this is very early, like <laughs> very very early to have 160 hit points. So we we've been doing a ton of damage. You can see that four people are already almost knocked out. And here we're going to save our gold so we can get that Mardis in right after this boss. It, the interest is not too much of a thing for us here because we are just trying to, we're just trying to wipe people and we're trying to get to that 200 hit points. Now, of course, always go for the wrestler. If you can get a wrestler rune, it's going to be amazing. Claude is going to be stunning so much once you get that synergy in. So, and it's already mixed in. So all you need is one wrestler room because I mean, we're missing the Gato to to make it three. So Gato, Carmilla, and then one wrestler room will give you give you stuns on Claude, and he's going to be stunning a ton. And also, you deal more damage when you stun. So he's just Definitely, you know, all the damage is really kind of centered around him and the summoner. The main creature. I don't know exactly what to call him. So he did some pretty good damage there. The shield is, you know, halfway through now to 180. 
We are unity in we get a gato, which is huge. As soon as you get your gato, you can sell your Mardis. He is no longer needed. We're going to switch our items over to him because he is our main source of CC besides Claude, of course, because now, now Claude is going to be stunning a ton, too. You can just see now how strong we are. Like We just oblib obliterated. <laughs> Sorry, I can't say that word. We just destroyed that guy. And now we are at 180 hit points. So we have gotten a shield four times now. We're going to get get the Minotaur now because he is our last hero. That's just going to make it so Claude has a little bit more sustain. And so we're doing even more CC. I've tried this multiple times and... I definitely like this better than going for like six wrestlers, the Minotaur and the Gato, just doing their ultimates just really makes you super strong. So everyone is pretty much dead here. At this point, I am praying that I can get this last hit in to get my last shield. So uh, everyone, please let me know if you give this a shot. If you have Abe level two, I would definitely recommend if you don't have him to to get Abe if you're going to be playing Magic Chess seriously because he is definitely a yeah a meta commander now. So let's hope we can we can deal the damage here and get to 200 hit points. Boom, there it is, guys. So that is, and you can see I'm pretty excited. I'm going to type it in there. And that is, uh, yeah, dealing 50 damage five times over. So 240 damage, which is a pretty substantial amount considering that you're against seven people. So there's only 700 damage, like, of everybody's hit points. And I actually deal over 250 because you can see where my bar is at right now. So really, it's closer to 300, so that's that's kind of crazy. That's just obviously just knocking everyone out. I didn't switch my hit points helmet from Carmilla over to Gato till it was too late, but it is already over, guys. So you see how strong that build is. I hope you enjoyed this, what I think is the first ever 200 hit points victory. Thank you, guys.